डायनेमेश और जीर मेशर विच वन टू यूज विच वन डू आई यूज एंड विच वन डू यू यूज आई यूज बोथ इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शेयर यू माई डेली वर्क फ्लो अबाउट हाउ एंड वेन आई यूज दिस टू डी मेशर एंड वाई डू आई यूज दैम देर इज ऑफ एंड कम्स अ टाइम यू रीच अ पॉइंट वेन यू स्विच फ्रॉम डायनामेश टू जीर मेशर बट द बिग कन्फ्यूजन ऑफ एंड अकर्स टू सम पीपल that went to switch between these two remesh methods these two remesh methods are very important and to use both of them properly in your workflow is a very easy way to control your mesh and have a good result at the same time so for example i block out my character using basic primitive this very moment i have only one thing in my mind that i need to block out a basic shape of the model all i am using is z remesh spheres this is where i use z remesh at first now after finishing the block out Here comes the time when I dynamize. But as you can see, I have used the Z remesh spheres, and and the topology is very strange. So in order to fix this topology, and it is a very important. All I can do is go to geometry, and I can Z remesh it again. Or uh, in this moment, I will use dynamesh. Okay, dynamesh is very important. But before I do that, here is the trick. I will fix this stretch topology by hitting Control D multiple times to make a smooth surface. All we want is the projection of a smooth mesh, so we can dynamesh it properly. And to dynamesh it, here is the trick. If you hit Control D, the model will have multiple subdivision levels. And if I dynamesh it, it will give you a pop-up message that the mesh has multiple subdivision levels. Levels. Would you like to freeze subdivision level before entering dynamesh mode? Select no. Always select no if you're using multiple subdivisions and you want to dynamesh it. So click no, and it will merge all the uh, Z mesh parts, and it will preserve the poly groups. And uh, uh, that way, you will have your poly groups. The parts will be merged, and you can utilize this dynamesh uh, merge parts accordingly. And uh, there's another second method which is boolean union by using the gizmo uh, deformer which is by hitting uh, control z to back it and uh, click w go to this gear icon and you can always remesh by union that way you won't get the artifacts in between uh, where the mesh are getting overlapped or touching each other but i have a force habit to use the dynamic mesh because it is a very fast method for me so i will hit control shift z and now we have a dynamic method and to begin uh, what i will do is press shift f to see the all the poly groups shift f again and just smooth where there is creating an artifact okay you have to smooth the mesh where the mesh are intersecting and that way you can easily clean the model and after cleaning the model uh, if i hit shift f again you would see that all the intersecting parts are now smooth and now i can just continue sculpting okay i will just continue sculpting the uh, this old dude and uh, or i can hit z mesh again by clicking now here is the interesting part after dynamashing it we have merged all the spheres onto the mesh okay and if i go to uh, geometry and click z measure and click keep groups and if i z mesh it for example it has 50000 points i can do is select the 50 target polygons i want poly count of this mesh so i will hit uh, keep it 5 and hit z measure now it will keep the groups and uh, it will uh, retopologize the model for you using the z measure method now as you can see the mesh is very clean and uh, you have all the part merged with different poly groups and now i can work on individual parts by clicking control shift tapping and uh, isolating the individual parts or i can just hit w uh, open the gizmo and hold control and click and you can see i can just mark this uh, by using the poly groups and i can just uh, move them wherever i want and uh, i can just sculpt the mesh accordingly so this is how i use these two z mesh methods and this is my primary workflow of how i approach to sculpt any model in zbrush i always think about big shapes primary shapes and silhouette and using this simple block on method with spheres i can easily 
spend hours just to make my character look interesting. So to rewind what I have just explained, use low poly simple spheres or any primitive, block out the basic primary shapes, then use Dynamesh and smooth it out the intersecting parts. You could also use Boolean Union. Then use Zeremesh for a better topology so you could continue sculpting. So yes, I use both. Dynamesh is a very important and dynamic tool for sketching purpose. And when you make sure your design is finalized and you decide you won't be using move brush anymore, use Zeremesh and it will give you a better topology to work with. So this is it. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button and share with your fellow artists. I will see you in the next one.